I did a video, guys, about, about two weeks ago, the Tesla Model Y in China and the Model 3, but particularly the Model Y, because you know that's the car that most people are interested in, got a big range increase. I said it was because of a new battery, which turns out I was guessing, but it actually was. And now we know that range increase is relevant to you if you're buying a Tesla that comes from China. So many countries around the world, they get deliveries of the Tesla Model Y and the Model 3, which are made in China. Those models are now global export models. Get the changes we've seen in China. These changes are not just more range, not just uh, a lot more range. It's actually more power as well. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. Thanks for tuning in and thank you for supporting the channel. If you'd like to become a member, a YouTube member, you get access to other videos, interviews, the long form of that video, etc., on the YouTube member section. I will put a link in the description below. And guys, I really appreciate your support. It helps me to continue doing this. Tesla have increased the range of the Model Y to 600 kilometers, and they have a new paint color as well. And I, I think the new paint color looks good. I know a lot of people are not into this paint color, but I personally am. Earlier this month, Tesla upgraded the long range version, the long range all wheel drive version of the Model Y in China. And those upgrades and changes have been made to the overseas international version as well. When I say the international version, I mean the version that um, that's made in China. Now guys, before I get to this, the Model Y changes, I've just been looking on the website in Australia for the Model, Model 3, right? Inventory stock of the Model 3 you can get on a brand new car up to four and a half thousand dollar discount. That's um, that's. I mean, I'm not. I'm not telling you to buy one, but that's an amazingly good deal. Sixty five thousand dollars for a Tesla Model Three long range all wheel drive, which has six hundred and thirty kilometers of WLTP range. Obviously, a lot of power in those cars. I mean, I haven't seen these at these these kind of prices for a long time. So that's an incredibly good deal. There's also discounts of inventory stock for the all-wheel drive, the performance all-wheel drive, they've got discounts of around $4,000 on the performance all-wheel drive. And that's in most states around Australia. When I checked on it, there's inventory in most states around Australia. The rear-wheel drive though, um, not such big discounts on the rear-wheel drive. The rear-wheel drive starts from $54,700 for inventory stock. So I mean, that price is good, but it's only about $1,000 different to the normal price. So not too much different to the normal price for those models. Now that said, when I say $1,000 different, I mean, actually, it's a big discount if you compare it to the price that um, the Model 3 was, say, six months ago. Six months ago, the Model 3 was around $58,000. Now they're down to $54,000. So it's actually a discount of $5,000. But Tesla obviously already reduced the, the Model 3 by a couple of few thousand a few months ago. So yeah, it's a discount on top of a discount. And I guess if you look at it that way, actually a $5,000 discount means it's a pretty good deal. So rear wheel drive Tesla Model 3, right? 520 kilometers of range. That is now, you can get one for $54,000 on Tesla's website. You can actually get the black version for $56,000. There's a blue version as well for $56,000. Quicksilver, if you want that, you got to pay a bit extra, but not too much. $57,000. $57,000 for the real drive, the, the really cool looking red color. So some amazing deals on the Model 3, which I think, um, well, who would, have, who would have thought that um, you know you could get a Tesla Model 3 for these kind of prices? It's, it's actually incredibly good. So getting back to the Tesla Model Y, the new version, right, or the updated version, it does have a higher energy density battery. That's what I've been hearing from China. Can't actually confirm that that's true, but that's what everyone's saying. 600 kilometers WLTP range, meaning an increase of 50 kilometers of range versus the previous model. That's a pretty big difference. That's 10%. That's the first time a Model Y has gotten 600 kilometers of range or above, in Australia, and this is the all-wheel drive version. Yes, yes, in the United States and in Europe, you can get the rear-wheel drive long-range version, which has more range than this. In fact, I think it has 700 kilometers of WLTP range, but this is the first time we've seen this in a Model Y, in right-hand drive car markets. In addition to that, you can also get the, the diamond black color. And the diamond black color you can get for both the Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y. So that means there is actually six different colors now for the Model Y and the Model 3. Quite a lot of option. People used to complain about Teslas. You only buy a few colors. Well, it's not the case anymore. There's six different colors. 
Now, in terms of the price, though, if you want to get that diamond black color, which I think looks good, I'm a fan of it. That's probably the color I'd go and get. If you want to get that, it's a $1,500 price to, to pay for that option, that optional color. So guys, these changes are the same to, to Tesla's Model Y in Thailand, in New Zealand, in basically any other country, I think Malaysia as well, you guys are gonna get this right-hand drive Model Y with 600 kilometers of range. Now, people have reported on incentives and discounts that Tesla are offering, and there's a few in the United States, there's a few in Australia. Here in Australia, a you can get a newer demo Model Y, you get $2,000 off the price of that car when trading in a used vehicle. So if you've got an old bucket of junk car, it's worth nothing. Go and trade it in and get a $2,000 discount. But of course, there's also discounts that I mentioned before on inventory stock. So if you want to get inventory stock, then you can get some discounts of up to $5,000. So in my opinion, should you go and buy a Tesla Model Y? Should you make that change and buy, you know, and goes, well, hang on a minute, 600 kilometers of range. This is, this is good. And for the price, this is a really good price. I mean, 70,000 Australian dollars. So you're looking at about 48,000 US dollars. Well, mm, it's a tough, really tough question because the new Zika 7X, that's gonna be here within the next two months. The new Xpeng or Xiaopeng G6, that's gonna be here within the next few months. They're already on sale in Indonesia, the new version, right? The new, um, there's, well, several models coming from other manufacturers, but they're probably the three models that I'd be looking at. I'd be shortlisting those three the Zika, the Xpeng, and the Tesla. And the thing is, well, the Xpeng's probably gonna be maybe $10,000 cheaper, has twice the charging speed, so it can charge at 500 kilowatt, similar to the Zika 7X. The 7X is a bit bigger, but it's gonna, you know, it's, it's really gonna be a tough question between those three cars. I personally would probably have to wait to see the price and the specs of the Zika and the Xpeng before I actually went ahead and bought the Model Y. Even though it's a really good deal, I'd probably have to see for my own personal emotional stability to see, oh, hang on a minute, I didn't make a mistake. Okay, I've seen the prices, now I know what I can, which of the three I'm gonna go ahead with. So when those two models are on the market, guys, I'm hoping to test drive all three of them and compare all three of them and really to see which one of these is the best choice. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye-bye. Both the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y have had a big range and a massive performance boost. We're talking new batteries here, guys. Tesla have finally, finally put new batteries in the Model Y and the Model 3, and we're seeing a big increase. This, this is a really a pretty game-changing move here from Tesla. Prices have gone up by about $2,000, but um, it's well and truly worth the price rise. I kind of feel like if you've just bought the Model Y Juniper, the Model 3 Highland, you're seeing this, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm a bit disappointed because this is a big difference. 